Hello, my name is Gagan Singh. I'm an interventional cardiologist from California. And my name is Rodrigo Esteban Loureiro. I'm an interventional cardiologist from Vigo, Spain. And today we're going to be unboxing MitraClip G5 and TriClip G5. Rodrigo, here's the MitraClip G5 NTW. Wow, I see some difference in the colors compared to prior one. What, what's about this color? The MitraClip systems on the outside are all going to have this nice pink color now. Very easy for the staff to tell it apart from the TriClip system, which is going to be totally blue. And then each clip is going to be color coded. So very easy for your staff to figure out which box it is. Shall we open? Okay, yes. Let's unbox it. Let's see. Wow. It smells good. It smells new. Let's open it, the box. Now you can pull. Wow. That's some changes, right? It's different. A lot of great changes. But before we get to the changes, let's see what's outside the box. All right, so here's the brand new stabilizer. I, it's completely different, right? I, I, I love it. I see some changes here where it used to be the black uh, screw uh, and this part also different. This is a very nice seamless docking station now for your guide. No more fastener, no more losing the fastener. This is a very nice rail for the clip delivery system. As soon as it lands into here, it's at the tip of the guide ready to go. And then finally, the, the stabilizer movement is very smooth. You can push it into the patient or this way outside the patient. And there you have it. There's your fully foreign MitraClip G5 system ready for use now. Well, I see here's a, it's a major change, completely different. The, the, the black screw is not there anymore. How does it work, the new system there? Yeah, from an efficiency standpoint, this is a fantastic improvement. Before, when you were in the heart and you were controlling the DC handle, you had to fasten the DC handle, move both hands to the guide if you needed to do any anterior or posterior adjustment. You had to unfasten, rotate, refasten. That's all gone. There's a very nice auto braking mechanism in here now. So what you do is, you, with one hand, you don't need two hands anymore. You simply come in, you can rotate one way, and then just let go, and it'll maintain that position. And if you don't like it, you can rotate the other way, and it'll maintain that position. So one more free hand to work. So now we have this part that is attached to the rail. What, what does it mean when you attach the system to the rail at, at this point? Great question. In the old system, once the clip delivery system touched down on the stabilizer, you had no idea how close you were to the end. You had to use fluoroscopy and advance it until it was at the end and then refasten. With the new system, as soon as you're at the beginning of the rail here, that's called a landing zone. Once you touch down here, you're automatically at the tip of the guide. With this rail, you can advance and retract the clip in a controlled way. Even you can you put fingers here and here to more control on the device. And what's great about this feature is that you don't have to unfasten and refasten the fastener as you move your clip delivery system in and out. So now let's focus on the DC handle that has been completely redesigned. Uh, what first comes to my mind is that we don't have the black screw that fastened the DC. Yeah, the redesign is fantastic and it's very ergonomic. Now instead of unfastening and then rotating and then refastening now and then uh, with the fastener, now there's this knob. The knob moves away from you and you can rotate and then refasten by, by rotating it towards you. Now what's also great is if you ever rotate beyond 180 degrees, there's no black knob anymore to rotate to the other side. You just tighten it back down the exact same way to fasten it down. So very nice ergonomic features that again prevent you from doing multiple manipulations. I also see here that the, the locking mechanism has changed. Now we don't have the, that lock lever anymore that you have to pull. What, what's new now? There's no more blue line. There's no more plastic lever. You don't have to guess how much you have to pull. This lock knob is a simple on off. Okay, so go ahead and rotate that up. Lock is open. And once you're ready to put the lock down, rotate it the other way. And this happens the same way, whether it's in this configuration, if rotated this way or rotated the other way. Very easy. Now you don't have to even look at it. I also see that this mark here in the DC, which is even easier, although you can do it with your eyes closed. How is the deployment sequence with this new lock knob? The, the new deployment sequence is absolutely streamlined. You're going to love it. Just like every fantastic grasp you get, as soon as you're happy with leaflet insertion, you're ready to do deployment sequence. The first step after you've established final arm angle is to now basically take the lock line out. And now there's a release latch that gets pulled out like so. There's a slider that you hold down and very easily this comes out. No more do you have to struggle to identify the suture. 
No more do you have to struggle to take off the plastic tubes. And then of course you turn the drip up and now you don't see the Lake Cuomo forming here either. So in a very nice streamlined way, efficiently we've done the final arm angle number one and released the lock. Much more easy. And now, how we deploy the clip? Very easy. None of that has changed except a few features that make it easier for you. So after a final arm angle number one, you do final arm angle number two, we're ready to deploy. So the first thing that happens is you have a very nice, easy latch that you'll, that you'll unsecure. So go ahead. Very nice. And that gives you a nice little thing to brace onto, and then you pull that pin out. Beautiful. Much more easier. Now that that's done, we focus on the knob. So this blue knob will rotate, in our case away, but in a clinical case towards you, and you'll keep rotating it to hard stop. And once you get to hard stop, yeah. you know that your, your groove is exposed there, and then now you're ready to do your eight turns, and you're ready to deploy. There's also a sign here and a marker to know you do your one turn, two, three, one more and then I Perfect. pull. Yep. Then you just need to pull up the grippers and secure the DC and just pull back. And of course, all these changes that we have shown you are as well for the TriClip G5. In addition to that, there continues to be the full size spectrum for both MitraClip and TriClip. That are now displayed in a color code to make things easier for us. And collectively, this has made the system easy, precise, and far more intuitive.